slide. Mm-hmm. Slide's off limits to <gasps> you. <laughs> Do you want to be best friends? Wait! Before we start this film that's in theaters right now, please do us a favor. Hit that subscribe button down at the bottom. Audrey and Lola on the playground, they basically form a bond. And you see me in the trailer where the little boy said that racist thing and then he got socked in the mouth. <laughs> <laughs> now, you know, respectfully. <laughs> no, no, not respectfully no, no. at all. All the disrespect. <laughs> and they grew up together and Lola always had Audrey's back. Audrey is like a success. She, she, she's freaking honor roll. She wins awards. She's just the smartest girl. Became a lawyer and uh, her friend is an artist. Her art is, is downright pornographic. Now, <laughs> she says though, she says yeah. it's sex positive and she sex just wants to start the conversation. But if you look at her art, it's like, girl, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> what are you talking about? You know? Audrey has to go on a business trip. She's going to a business meeting and she needs an interpreter. And this is the key part about their relationship. Audrey is adopted. So she was born, she was raised by white people. White people. And she's very adept at knowing white culture. You ask mm -hmm. her something about Game of Thrones, she got you. You ask she her something you. about Taylor Swift, mm -hmm. she got you. She got you. You <laughs> ask her to speak Chinese, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, so now she now she needs Lolo. And so she's like, okay, how about you come with me? You can be my interpreter. We'll, we'll, we'll both go to China, X, Y, Z. But as the movie goes on, it turns into much more of that. It turns into much more personal story because uh, one of her associates, played by Ronnie Chin, is like, I can't do business with you unless mm -hmm. I meet your family. I gotta know what kind of person you are. And she mm -hmm. doesn't know her Chinese family. And so it mm -hmm. turns into her trying to find her birth mother. Yeah. And within this time, she meets up with her college friend who actually works as a soap opera actress right. <laughs> in China. And that's played by Oscar nominated Stephanie Hsu. And, and she's then really funny. Like her comedic timing is I think spot on. She is. Hilarious. I was dying in yeah, this film. She is really funny. <laughs> yeah, and then her uh, Lola's cousin comes along, which is Dead Eye. She <laughs> loves K-pop. She plays online with with a lot of her friends because that's she feels like that's the only friends that she has is friends right. online because she's awkward. But before we get into the rest of the film, I want to say starting off, I enjoyed this film. I enjoyed this film because we reviewed another film. A couple weeks ago, there was a comedy film starring Jennifer Lawrence called, um, don't let me get it. No Hard Feelings. <laughs> ah, let me get it. <laughs> like, hey, I forgot I was, too, man. I was like, I was saying, I was saying no strings attached. That's Justin Timberlake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's funny. <laughs> hey, hey. <laughs> But yeah, she, uh, it was no hard feelings. And we said in that review that this film really, tr that film tried to be early, mid 2000s, time of raunchy comedy, but they right. were like, huh, huh? Don't want to offend anybody. Right. This one, they were like, hell no, nah, we're going to go full force. They didn't give a damn <laughs> about your feelings, all right? They went all in. This is, this is a raunchy, nasty movie. <laughs> Uh, which is a surprise in in 2023 because when we talked we talked about this before how there aren't that many comedies in the theater anyway and so to have one as raunchy and out there as this one i think it really stood out my audience had a full crowd my audience you could tell the shock value was like had people shook they were like mm. <laughs> people were yeah. laughing so i had a really active audience for this one and they seemed to really enjoy it too and i and i also Really enjoyed this film. I was laughing, Kiki, and like I was, you <laughs> know, the, the, the loudest person ever. <laughs> okay, I was like, "Woo!" Ah! This movie had me going in laughter, but a certain part of the film it had me going in tears. That's right, and you can kind of feel them like starting to like plant the seed early on. Once we realized that our main character, Audrey, did not know her mother and she was gonna try to learn uh, all about her family and, and learn where she came from. And she's like, I'm gonna go to China and learn all about myself. And it doesn't quite work the way she expects it to. And it that does get quite emotional. And mm. I, liked, I liked that quite a bit. So this is one of those movies where I said, I don't know why they always do one or the other, right? Why, 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 why does it have to be heart-wrenching or, or funny? How come it can't be both? This one 
I think, did both. It's one of those movies where it just shows you how freaking racist Hollywood is. Why does this movie have so much talent? And you've barely seen them in anything. It's just, it's, it's like, it's just a true embarrassment of riches. Like we already talked about Stephanie Hsu and how awesome she was and everything ever all at once. Our main character, uh, Audrey, I thought she rocked it. Uh, Deadeye, hilarious. And these, these ladies, I feel like I don't see them nearly as often as I see uh, Jennifer Lawrence. So I think this movie, really, the way it really helped this movie out a lot was its cast. This cast is killer. And they're all game. None of them are shy. None of them mm -hmm. are afraid to, you know, afraid of the jokes. They, they are all game. Yeah, this is uh, produced by Seth Rogen. Come on. <laughs> right. And it's directed by the writer of Crazy Rich Asians. Right. All right. And this is her, her directorial debut. Out of the park, baby. Yeah, <laughs> killed it. Killed it. The budget on this film is super low. And, and they put all of their the, the budget into location. And they yep. put all the budget into the act the actors. Yep. Okay. There's a cliche when it comes to making the film. Put the money on the screen, and that's what they did. Oh, you can't, oh. <laughs> you can't tell that this movie is only is, is. I think I think you said it was five million dollars with the budget. You that's can't it. tell that this was like a, a really small budget film because it's all on the screen. It's all there. None of it was wasted. Now I'm gonna say only one fault that I feel about this film. Okay, the fault that I feel about this film is that as much as I loved the jokes and how and they were acting, I feel like. It was too short. I wanted hmm. just more like lived in time, like like maybe a little bit more lived in time when just some spoilers here. When they, they get on the train and they meet this girl right. who's on there, who, who's basically being a drug runner. And she's like, she's like, you're all going to be, you know, doing drugs with me because the cops are coming to search, search for me. But they right. all get kicked off the freaking train except for the white girl. You know, because she she blamed it on them. I wanted that like some more comedy, like of figuring out where they're going to be going before NBA superstar Baron Day Davis comes and pick them up in the truck. So I was mm -hmm. like, "Yo, this is a short film. Yeah, <laughs> it's like an hour and a half. Like, it's, it's not the long. <laughs> the movie does what it has to do, and it says goodbye, deuces. It, it doesn't stick around. There's no there's no post credit bullshit. None of that. It's yeah. like, look, we 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 shot our shot. Hope you enjoyed it. Goodbye. And I like I like that quite a bit. Now, to go back to the scene you're talking about with the drug dealer on the train, right? One mm -hmm. of the things that make that scene funny is that it's so obvious that that lady is a drug dealer, right? It, it's so yes. obvious the second you see her that she's a drug <laughs> dealer. But because she's white, right? <laughs> Our main character's like, you know, well, maybe, yeah, you know. Yeah, and so, and so that's where the that's where the comedy comes from, right? But it's like you know, you see this shit. You know, yeah. you, see it, you know, but no one ever wants <laughs> and, to admit it, you know, and I think that's really funny. That's, that's, that's a lot of humor in that. Man, Stephanie, Stephanie uh, Shu's character was like, you, you clearly see this, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. But she's jumpy and nervous, you know, it's like, mm -hmm. oh my God. And then Audrey, she was like, there's a drug dealer on this train. <laughs> I bet it's those that couple eating oranges. <laughs> it's like, no. <laughs> no. She's right there. <laughs> She's right there in front of you. You know what I'm saying? She couldn't read the room at all. No, could not read it. <laughs> couldn't see beyond her own biases, which is where the comedy comes from. I like that quite a bit. And I also liked your comparison to... What's the shit called? No hard feelings. Thank you. No hard feelings. <laughs> keep the tile in my head. But I, 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 like, I like your comparison to that. Because that's a joke that I don't think no hard feelings would ever ever do each person in this in this film did a great job i felt the heart in this film when when she was having that scene uh, realizing about her her mom i was in the theater i was like there ain't nobody in here <laughs> right it's about like knowing who you are and whether or not you need to right because the movie started audrey she said she wasn't really even interested in finding her birth mother right she's like i got yeah. parents they love me a lot i'm exactly who i want to be i love them they love me i'm good to go but mm -hmm. that curiosity kind of got the better of her. She's like, you know what? Maybe I should know. And 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 in that pursuit of knowing, of trying to uh, excel at her job by trying to appease uh, Ronnie Chin, she's like, well, mm -hmm. maybe I should learn. You know, why it can't hurt. But it turns out, it can't hurt. So can't so hurt. Yeah. I, I, I liked a lot of those themes, the big themes, the big ideas. I'm pleased that this film did exactly what it needed to do. It showcased so much talent that we don't get to see at all Man. you know if i if if i'd never seen stephanie shoe before i would have been blown away by her comedy 
Right. And, and and also it's like I wouldn't have even known that she could be a dramatic actor like she was in everything at Royal like once. Well, she did kind of both in that too. She exactly. Did. Everyone else in here, all of them, they did a ph- phenomenal job. I can't wait to see what's going what's going to come from Ada Lynn because this was a great directorial debut from her. And um, I'm just going to give this film a straight up B plus. This was good. <laughs> yeah, uh, I think. I think I'm a copy. I like your B plus. I'm giving this a B plus as well. I think this was a genuinely funny film, and the, there's there's a lot of jokes here. They kind of come out rapid fire. <laughs> so, so, because, so because they're, they're still so rapid fire, uh, I bet you you'll find something that you think is funny. I know I know humor is subjective, but because they're just there's so many jokes, I bet you. It kind of it, it kind of sprays wide, you know. So it'll it'll probably get you somewhere. So I think it's a genuinely funny film, and I think it has a lot of heart. And I think this entire cast, I think the director, they show a lot of promise for the future. So this is one of those movies where I look at, and I get I get happy and I get giddy because I know that mm-hmm. I know that all these people are going to make more things in the future, and they're probably yes. all going to be awesome. So I'm really excited to see where these guys go. Do you recommend this film? I do recommend it. That being said. This is a raunchy movie. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> so, if, so, yeah. So, uh, if you, this, this is an R. This is a hard R. Um, mm-hmm. I wouldn't recommend this for your kids. Leave the kids at home. If you are even remotely interested in. Why can't I remember the title of this movie? No <laughs> hard feelings. <laughs> no hard feelings. I can't believe we can. And we actually, we actually liked that movie. I liked we the movie. It, we, we, we gave it a C. We gave it a, a, yeah, a C. What the heck? It's a I passing can't film. Right. Oh my gosh. But okay, if you're even remotely interested in no hard feelings, this is part of the movie that you want to see. This is this this is the one that you thought you're gonna see. I definitely recommend this film to do not bring no kids. This is an adult only, and be sure to watch out for the devil in a in a curious place. <laughs> in he shows room. up in the strangest ways. Oh my gosh, he does. <laughs> All right. But more importantly, do you recommend this film? Have you seen Joyride? I hope you did. Get down in the comments and let us know what you thought. Honey, you good? Did you get the coke bags out? Yeah, but only seven, and I think I put in eight. Just push, pull. I mean, twist it. It's not a puppet. It's my asshole. Hey, thank you so much for clicking on this video. We really do appreciate you guys. Our subscriber count is going up, up, up. And it's because of awesome people like you. So if you're new to seeing our face, please do us a favor. Hit that subscribe button right at the bottom. And if you like this movie review, please hit that thumbs up or you hit that thumbs down. Whichever you choose, it is your opinion. Just remember one thing. It's mostly wrong. This movie like reminded me of like the time we went to go see Tropic Thunder. We were shocked. (laughs) (laughs) I was so shocked in Tropic Thunder. I was like, my parents not watching this shit.